for anyone that has had a whiplash or a, you know a blow to the head or is yeah suffering dizziness and and mm -hmm. and vertigo, it, it's super important to look at this because it could actually be a cause for those symptoms. Right. I think about this in terms of also like fear avoidance behavior. If somebody comes in a neck pain and they're just so fearful about yeah. moving. And being able to establish wherever they're at, right? It, they might have some work to do, yeah. but being able to establish, okay, you can move through a range of motion and get back to that, that centeredness, that neutral yeah. position, or, hey, here's a little bit of an opportunity to improve. That is also something I could see having that conversation with the patient mm -hmm. that's really fearful about, uh, you know, about moving and being able to guide them through a proprioceptive exercise and then be able to showcase, again, as time goes on, that improvement, mm -hmm. but also being able to showcase even just the baseline of, okay, you can do this, right? That's a diagnostic tool that leads into the therapeutic mm -hmm. aspect, right? Where it's like, For sure. okay, I can accomplish, yeah. I can accomplish this task.